Well, uh, welcome to uh, the new episode of our podcast. Welcome back to everyone who listened to the first one. We want to thank everyone who listened to the first one. Um, we want to thank everyone for their uh, enormous amount of feedback we got. Thank you for that. Yee. We will try to improve. Um, no promises, though. <laughs> no um, promises, definitely. I'm, I'm not contractually obligated to do that. <laughs> And this time we uh, brought in a guest. The it's uh, the one and only Hyperstan, yeah. the winner of the Dutch Best Dutch Award. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I was actually the seventh pick to be guest here, but everyone else ate something and got food poisoning, and you know, here I am. So sorry for the people who were in front of me in the line. Sorry. Stan did make lunch yesterday. I made the food. Ka that's all I'm gonna say. Kind of sus. <laughs> Kind of sus. Kind of sus. People always say I knew that. I, I knew the fish was bad. So, um, anything you wanna tell your audience before we uh, head on? Well, if you, which one of us? Uh, you stand. You're the. You. What? What should they know about you're Hyper? You're the new stand person going into this podcast. Uh, okay. I'm uh, excited you're I, here. Uh, my first name is Hyper, and I tend to be a little bit Stan. And, you know, hmm, I mostly right. terrorize this server whenever I'm bored, and for some reason, people actually give me moons when I ask for it, for really menial tasks. Uh, that You're happens to be my life in this server. I I'm really not sure how I ended up with most of these moons, but I'm gonna say it's deserved. That's pretty much everything about me in this server. Please give me moons for this. <laughs> well, you will get your 500 yeah that would be 500 uh, moons per line I speak by the way Wes <laughs> oh no if you only terrorize this <laughs> server when you're bored you must be bored an awful lot well I also do it when I'm not bored so that doesn't really say mm. much <laughs> I do this in like Welcome. 5 other servers yep. <laughs> nah. oh damn busy life yeah, I... so yeah um, r r right after we uh, recorded our first one we uh, got the drop from big old daddy Nintendo, and they came out with a uh, with a hot load of Zelda news. Thank you, Miyamoto. Completely blew their load on us. The yeah. day after, <laughs> right after we recorded. So that's what we're going to talk about now. Am I the only uh, one? This what did you guys think? <laughs> like I, like... I was hoping for Breath of the Wild too, and I got some sort of like. Another fighter game. Yeah, it's Hyrule Warrior, Hyrule Warriors. And it's just <laughs> like, I guess it's just an in-between game to Hypership for actual Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, like, I'm, uh, I'm not feeling the hype myself. Uh, I played uh, the first Hyrule Warriors for a whopping 30 minutes total and then never touched it again. So I'm also kind of on the fence about this one. Don't think I'll play it. I was never too interested in the uh, Dynasty Warriors derivatives, like uh, both uh, this game and uh, Hyrule Warriors. And they also did one for Fire Emblem as well. I just feel like uh, the formula is just a little bit... They did a Fire style. Emblem one. Okay, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> they did? Yeah, okay. Did. Yeah, this is the worst thing What do you mean? I thought Fire been. Emblem is your favorite game. Yeah, is like... Your, sorry? This is your top five favorite games, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I love Fire Emblem. That's the one with like that one anime swordsman. What's his name? Hero. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Hero. Yeah, Hero. Yes. Yeah. I played a decent amount of uh, Samurai Warriors, which is uh, more or less the same. Oh. And I did like it, but after playing one game, it also feels like I don't really need to do this again. Yeah, I think you've played yeah. them all then. Mm. Apparently the series is super popular in uh, Japan, where yeah. they frequently like uh, top the lists whenever they're released. So this is another thing yeah. where like, it's really big in Japan, and then we in the West are like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. You know, well, like, it's also because Tingle, of... As with everything that comes yeah, from Japan. Yeah, but like Tingle yeah. in Legend of Zelda is like super popular in Japan, and then they push him here in the West and nobody understands the thing. Talking <laughs> shit about my boy <laughs> Tingle? Yes! <laughs> Waiting on Tingle. <laughs> Wasn't that Tingle game released only in Japan and Europe? Yeah, I think so. It's too sophisticated <laughs> for the American audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was saved from the wrath of Tingle. <laughs> saved, it's like sure. um, c 
Kojima, Kojima said, only the, uh, the Japanese and the uh, European really understand art. Only they truly can carry on the legacy that is uh, <laughs> Nintendo. And Tingle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tingle is a force unto itself that is separate from Nintendo. People do say that the, um, the, the Zelda spin-off of the Warriors, so the, the Hyrule Warriors uh, franchise, yeah. is a bit more interesting gameplay-wise than the, uh, the regular games. Really? Really? I, I've not yeah. seen anything the, about it, actually. That, that, that yeah. there's a, a, a wider variety of, uh, of moves that the, the game characters use because of the fantasy setting See, than I, the a bit more... I sort of get yeah, that, ahead. because like there's a lot of Zelda character in the first one, right? We even gave Fee the best Zelda character, an amazing moveset, but now you're kind of locked into only Breath of the Wild character. Like, how many do we have? Like six maybe seven if we add in the korok tree uh, um yeah you have the <laughs> you have zelda link you have um you have four guardians, have four guardians so that's the guardians six. you got which is useless that, uh, there's also play robots yeah there's also an egg guardian i saw on the cover so that's a, that's that's a good one best character and in the trailer we saw young impa they can also use like characters from the yiga, yiga clan okay, so eight I think they also use like this 100 year difference and they also have the ones from the future basically the how is that guy called the the fish guy the the buffy Sidon. I think it's he's called like that they also Sidon? just Sidon? yeah just all those characters and the young impa girl I like it that more as oh the scale the scaly bait character yeah isn't <laughs> it's better C though wasn't because then he gets C wasn't Sidon like a baby when all this shit happened. He should be. I don't I think he. No I don't think he was born yet. I don't uh, know how was fast born. like Zora. He was he's born. A little baby. Yeah. Walking around with his uh, huge ass whistle. Yeah. But uh, nice. the whistle uh. stays the same size when he's an adult. That's a really cute detail. <laughs> oh man, the but the only thing what I do know is that the trailer they showed they really were focusing on the story as far as I know. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. prequel. Yeah, but usually your uh, dynasty, din I don't know how to pronounce it, your warrior game. Dynast dynasty Warriors. <laughs> dynasty, dynasty, <yeah. laughs> dynasty Warriors aren't that heavy story f focused, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, they are. I mean, don't you want to hear the story of the Three Kingdoms over and over again? Wait, wait, yeah, wait. exactly. Yeah, the, 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 the Dynasty or Dynasty, I think both are correct. It depends Doesn't really on matter. I'm pretty sure American... Uh, Pronunciation. Look, I'm um, Chinese. I can decide how dynasty. Is <laughs> it's my uh, country's history. I, I got a question. Yeah, that they they have the Chinese history, and the samurai warriors are about the Japanese history, mostly yeah. the unification uh, of Japan with yeah, this, Oda Nobunaga. Yeah, with uh, the Sengoku Jidai uh, period. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can Can I ask you, a question? You want to ask? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, if I get this right, this game is gonna tell the canonical story about the events 100 yes. years ago in the Zelda universe. Yes. It's gonna yes. be a yes. story focused yes. game. Everything is gonna be canon. Yes. yes. But yeah, because the, tell creator, the, the creator but, also is involved. But, but here comes the thing. Okay, but Sidon appears as he appears 100 years later. Time travel. Yeah, that's Magic. Canon Magic. <laughs> okay, so... Hologram. It's canon that Sidon is a time traveler. Yeah, let's go. And, and, that's and every <laughs> time they add a, some sort of fan service character, let's say they add in, I don't know, Midna, then it means Midna is canonical to the story 100 years ago before Breath of the Wild. Midna came back, saw what the fuck happened to Hyrule, <laughs> and then got the fuck out. Understandable. <laughs> I, I think it, most it is a can of worms <laughs> they're opening. Yeah. There I, I, th I think most of the canon stuff is gonna be in uh, cutscenes and stuff like that, and the actual battles. Yeah. Won't be as much canon like with characters you unlock. I, th I think it will be a story mode and <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. I think it will be like a story mode and there will also be like a, a free play mode. I don't know how to call it. And then yeah, you have that's, just yeah. a bunch of more characters you can the, use. Games. Yeah. And just the wait only they story mode is canon basically, and all other is just for fun. That's just wait how I think they will the do it. Fun. What's fun? <laughs> What's My fun? Video games? <laughs> video games are supposed to be fun, guys. Yeah, I think. Oh, don't so. get me started. <laughs> so, do you guys think that the uh, Age of Calamity game 
that this is was uh, taken into development because they were already kind of feeling that Breath of the Wild 2 was going to take longer, so they wanted to keep something to uh, um, keep people occupied. Or do you think that Breath of the Wild is going to take longer to develop because they planned this in between? I don't think hmm. I, lo- I don't think it will any change anything basically. Yeah. No, I don't. Think I just it think make they. Sense. I don't. I don't really know. Maybe the guy who makes Dynasty Warriors was like, "Hey, wanna wanna? Is it, can I make another?" He, he just game? walked into Nintendo. And we're like, "I really like Mifa. I'm gonna make a game <laughs> with Mifa in it." <laughs> and and then they just gave him the rights, and he walked out. There you go. <laughs> but you did say the uh, the guy was involved, right? The uh, the creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wild, yeah the so producer. I don't know how it, much it he's does. involved, but. It, it should take some. Yeah, maybe he's only like, what? What's the story like? Tell us about the story, and then he's like, this is the story, and that's <laughs> that's it. I'm I'm back to playing, um, Battle for All Two on my Nintendo Switch, and uh, I don't know. I I I have no clue. We will never probably never know if it's <laughs> get delayed because of that game or if the release schedule is still the same as they planned it's to. It's easier but to blame Corona. I, ex- I yep. expect the game to come out next year, because I then it's also yeah. Zelda 35 anniversary. Okay, yep. that makes but, sense. That makes but sense. otherwise, uh, I don't really know. Well, they also you know have what that. they say about rushed games. That's, uh, They're the rushed best. Rushed game will be bad forever, but the delayed game could be good. But that I want to play it yes. now. Well, you gotta wait, Wes. Yeah. Be content with uh, Mario 3D All-Stars. 3D All Stars. 3D All Stars. I uh. They also have that event coming in five days, where I think they'll uh, they release more information on uh, calamity. Oh yeah, that's true. On September twenty fifth. Twenty sixth. Sixth. Yeah. Fifth. Uh, sixth. During Tokyo Game Show. Oh nice. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I heard it will be like an hour long or something. Yeah. Nintendo. So, yeah. so for reference, we're recording this on the twenty first night of September. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? Uh, that's one, two, no, nah, never mind. There is a, for me, that's five days from now. I don't know if it's already the 22nd in Japan. Uh, disclaimer, I Margaret no come clue. from the magical land of Canada. I come from it. Canada, yeah. They, they have something yeah, called a pot pilgrim or something there. <laughs> yeah. By law. It's uh, some sort of seasonal dish, uh, uh, and I've been assured it is not weeb at all. <laughs> it's not weeb at all, yeah. no. Or national dist, pop pilgrim. National dist, not weeb, disclaimed. <laughs> Got it. Yes. I have no clue. So have you guys been? Uh, <laughs> have you guys been playing Mario 3D? I have not. I have. I played it a lot. I have as well. I have a little bit. I own the boxed version. Oh, is it even called like this? Yeah, I also Box have the box physical version. release. Physical release. Physical, physical release. Physical that's release. what I was looking for, and I played all three of the games. And all three. All, all three. Yeah. I don't five like. Minutes I don't like to brag about it, but I still do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> like, I don't know. It, it's it's nice and all, but then I remembered. Oh, I already played all three of them, and it, nothing changed basically. So I own it now, and I don't know. I was yeah, more was hype. Be my question. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, more hype for it than before playing the game, not actually playing the game, basically. Yeah. Like the, these games have been available even on on, on modern consoles through, uh, well, not all of them, but Only, a couple uh, of them through Wilson. through visual uh, virtual. Uh, what is it called again? The uh, virtual console. Yeah, virtual, virtual console. console. That thing Nintendo neglects. And yeah, and of course everything is uh, is widely available through. Uh, not completely legal. <laughs> uh, yep. So, um, so what 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 is it that makes you want to play them now? Now that they have officially released them on a boxed physical version. Well, for me, I, yeah, Cuber first. No, go okay, ahead. Go ahead. I Stan. insist. Okay. I insist. Okay, I'll go <laughs> first. Then. I'll go first. Stan. Oh. Uh, okay, Wes. Take okay. Take <laughs> Wes. Okay. Okay, for me. It's basically no wait. I'll go first. Okay, actually. okay. Uh, I I only ever played Mario Galaxy for the Wii, and I've been really dying to replay that again. But my physical disc for the Wii broke, so I can't play it anymore. And then of course I've never played Sunshine or 64 before in my life, so this is a nice chance to Ooh. finally get 
those mm -hmm. going. You're actually the audience they are looking for, probably, for this game. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and s to get sunshine in this day and age, in this economy, is just not doable. It's like a hundred bucks yeah. for that game. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, but you didn't feel like uh, getting 64 when it was released on Virtual Console 4? Well, whatever, the Wii, the Wii U, probably? I wasn't aware oh, of that. Oh man, my, my Wii... My Wii was not connected to the internet back then, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get it hooked up to the internet, so I never got into <laughs> virtual consoles back oh on the boy. Wii. But the oh Wii U oh boy. has it also, and you, I know you have a Wii U. I have a Wii U, but it's just a very expensive dust collector. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's a pretty good book holder, though. <laughs> it yes. is. That it is, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, is it my turn now or is it West first? Yeah, I, it is. Go, I, go I'm right ahead. I'm the new ahead. guy here, so I'm assuming I'm lowest in the hierarchy. Yes. Yeah, you're yes. the guest. You're just a guest. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. Yeah. Turn the West has cup. kicked me three times during this recording. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. uh, I've actually never played the original Mario 64 because the person I played was Mario 64 DS. Uh, so uh, really? I was actually really hyped to play Mario 64 and uh, I I'm gonna say it, uh, I'm sorry for everyone who's gonna answer the service, but Mario 64 has not aged well. The, ca the camera killed me Ooh. 10 I times do. in a row because the I camera turns around and as the camera turns around, so does the control. So every time you walk over a narrow pathway, the camera turns and suddenly Mario goes to the left or right. Constantly. Yeah, it's, it's it, very annoying. It has really not aged that well. But meanwhile, I hated Sunshine as a kid. But it actually worked really well now. It felt really fluid. Like There was something that just clicked for me. But every single floodless stage made me want to kill myself. <laughs> I, I I have to disagree actually and because Mario I, Galaxy is still the best. Peace. Oh man, I, I, have, to, <laughs> I have to disagree. Oh, he left the call. Well, this is the episode. <laughs> no. Stan has actually this. left the building. I'm out. I bitches. can't believe it. <laughs> okay, listen, I have to disagree because I think Sunshine plays way better on the GameCube than it does on the uh, on the Switch. Why? And that's mostly because you can't um, control how how do you say it? How much flood sprays? Yeah, basically you know, the, water, that. the water pressure. Yeah, and you can. You. As far as I know, you can also not do the uh, the spray where it spreads all around. You can. Like you, you can. Oh, then I I'm, did it multiple uh, times. I didn't know I've how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. I still don't know how to do it. You but do the spin jump, I think, and then use the flood. No, no. No, 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 not spin jump. You also on the GameCube. You have like, if you quick tap, you do a uh, white spray basically with flood. And I've, so f as far as I know, you cannot do that on the Switch. But that have, maybe just have me. Checked, have you checked the controls? I've checked with my fingers, but not the control. Did you <laughs> check? Did you check <laughs> check your own internet. fingers. <laughs> there, there's button. this very useful button on your Switch. If uh, you press the minus uh, key, it shows you the entire button layout. Ah, uh, maybe I'll <laughs> check it out. I don't know. Maybe. But <laughs> you go on the internet. You know, there's usually really guys. Oh my god, we have the same but, problem. But like, I feel like the controls in, for the Switch version are, I don't know, they are more precise, but in a in a bad way. I don't know how to describe it. I, do, I don't really like the controls of the Switch version. While I remember playing not the GameCube, and then I like, yeah, that's this is nice. I do like these controls. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. on the Switch, it's so I don't know. It feels off for me at least. But that's my personal opinion. Take about off it. your nostalgia goggles, old man. Yeah, but. That's exactly what I'm doing, because I've been judging the game now. <laughs> that is not so good as <laughs> I remember. Every time you favor the old product, it's nostalgia <laughs> goggles. Come on, everyone knows what the story. Persona, what? tell them how it is. <laughs> well, if, if, if anyone's guilty of being a nostalgia freak, then it's me. So oh. I, I don't know if I'm the one to uh, correct Wes here. Yes, but well, my man. nostalgia for Sunshine is pretty big. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. I I played all three of them and uh, three uh, three of them, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was mostly looking forward to 64 because that's the game I was. I haven't played for the longest time, but I don't know. I I've played all three of them like the first world now, and I'm back to my Paper Mario baby. That I'm gonna complete that first. 
paper mine. Are, are you going to complete that? Are you really? I am, and I'm okay. going to 100% it, and I'm like You're half, finally half going way to complete now. a game? Yeah, 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 and I enjoy it because I'm playing it in Dutch, and the Dutch translation <laughs> is very good, if I say so myself. Always knew West oh, was man, you, you post. Always knew. You posted some uh, some bits of it, and it, it felt so... Hmm? Uh, hmm? It 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 hmm? physically hurt me. Yeah, it's nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so yeah, that's bad. Ex it's exactly good, that's, that's that's for me. Nice. The, that's 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 what I think about it. But <laughs> right. I was a uh, I was interested in getting the All Stars collection because uh, I have never played a uh, Sunshine, and I think I mentioned the last podcast. I haven't played Galaxy either. Uh, it's still, oh in its, yeah, that's right. it's still in its box in its plastic it cover still yeah. hurts. after I bought it from Nintendo World in New York. Uh, no. And I only yeah, played it. That must a, be worth a pretty yeah, penny right now. Yeah, you could sell it that. Might be, yeah. You could like buy <laughs> half a PS5. I could. I could give it to Cuber to replace his broken disc of Galaxy. <laughs> Yes, please, but I don't know if the switch of the if the Wii is region locked. No, yeah, ah, it's that might, that it's might region be, locked. Probably. Is. That's true. I it's not it in is, yeah. original copy. It's uh, one of the Nintendo Selects uh, things, so it might be worth a bit less because of that. Mm. But uh, or more. yeah, it still has it does not have a single scratch on it because it's never been opened. Just uh, look on yeah. eBay and, and you'll find out. Uh, could be. Uh, but you haven't been playing it yet, or. I don't have the game. Uh, oh, you, was, did, you didn't get it. Uh, All Stars? No, I didn't get uh, All Stars. I actually uh. was a uh, before the podcast. Uh, I was in a game shop uh, earlier, thinking, hmm, maybe I should get it. But then I checked the price, and it's the price of a full AAA game. Yeah, yep. seventy nine ninety nine, and I don't have that money right now. Seventy nine. Seventy nine Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Look, our economy's fucked. Oh. Uh. You expect if you print cartoons on your money. <laughs> uh, all the uh, money went into funding Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, and where's <laughs> your pot pilgrim now? <laughs> My pot pilgrim right now. That's what I had for lunch. Pot. He's a food now? He what the it. fuck is this? He's a lot you of told things. told me Scott Pilgrim was on the Nintendo Switch eStore, but it wasn't. I thought it was released and it wasn't, but let's save that for later. Scott Cal well uh, Scott Scott uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot even say it. One oh, of these man. days Spot, we're spots. gonna learn Wes how to pronounce it. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim will be re released on the Scott eShop. Pilgrim. Maybe. Yeah yeah yeah. I played it back then before it was removed. Yes. And now I can play it again. What a dream. Yeah. It's actually right. a good game. Yeah, it was Doubt. I'm excited for it. It was not it is. I never got around to playing it when it was initially released, and it was kind of sad when it got removed from everywhere. Yeah, I excited. It's gonna be. What was the reason that it got removed? What the heck uh, is copyright? Copyright, copyright issues, I think. I think. I think. Uh, copyright. Uh, if it was a digital release back then, I think they were only allowed to keep it up there for three years, and then they had to take it down. Mm. Uh, and people have been lobbying quite a while for Ubisoft to re-release it, and uh, now they will. They have not yet. That is a, that's the part I'd like to cuber about before the podcast. <laughs> I see. Didn't the same happen to that uh, that game? I forgot the name. The, the game with the guy with the uh, torchlight. Bitte? The what? The, the, the guy with the torchlight. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. There uh, are a lot of games with torches. There's yeah. also a game called Torchlight. Yeah. Spel yeah but Spelunky it's is with the torchlight. I have no clue. Yeah, I, have no idea. I, I forgot. There was this game with. Uh, it's it's. A, it, it was a pretty hype game at the time. That's uh, kind of Twin Peaks inspired, I think. It features this guy, and and the main mechanic is it is, is that he walks around with a torchlight, kind of like uh, we just mentioned, but different. Um, you know, someone is a Silent Hill game or? No, no. Because that was also kind of, but I don't know. Anyway, that w that one was taken down, hmm. uh, so it, it it was almost free, or maybe even free, just before it was taken down. And then it got taken down, but no, it's up again. Ooh, oh, nice, interesting. And uh, you you don't know what which game because I uh, forgot the name. <laughs> so very very interesting. Uh, maybe if anyone here. 
If anyone knows the name of the game, please send us. Uh, please DM us. I'm pretty and sure put it in the comments there are some below. Fans yes, and, of the game and check. Just swearing right now because how can you not know this? Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you know the name, we will give you five moons. I won't. Uh, March will f give you five moons. Yeah, the, the, the first, the first, <laughs> first turn off, man. <laughs> Watch the next episode where we get our facts straight. <laughs> Uh, this just popped Research? into my I'm head. I'm not here by then, so that's fine by me. <laughs> yeah. Stan will forever be banned from the podcast. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say something vicious before He's or later. Be not on purpose, but I'm gonna say something so vicious and nasty that Wes is just oh, no. gonna leave and ban me instantly. Yep, like, I would never do that. I've already said something about Mario 64. Just you wait, it's gonna happen. <laughs> So also right after we uh, recorded, or well, not right after, but very soon after, there was that Partner Direct from Nintendo. Yes, the mini Partner Showcase Direct. And exactly. A lot of goodies. That, that's the one I meant. It was yes. good. Um, it was the first Direct in a while they actually live streamed this instead of just shadow dropping it on YouTube. Mm. What was the last live Direct before this one? Um, before Corona, I think, no? Um, yeah. I think the last Corona? year September, but I don't remember if the directs in between were live streamed or not. Uh, they because did? No, 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 that's not true, because... Did they I, do the one for Smash? Yeah, that's what I want to say. I think Min Min was live streamed, and I think the... Oh god, it's been a while since Min, uh, Min was released. Yeah, there was, there was a rumor that next week, or this week, there will be a Smash reveal. But Ooh. yeah, we'll just have to wait probably, but so we can really not, can not really talk about that, but... Um, yeah, well, we can talk about this one. Yeah, the partner the direct. The partner direct. Or do you want? Do you want to talk about it and say which character you uh, you hope I, for you? It's also related to the partner direct because I really hope for a monster hunter character, which was also very in the spotlight really? the last direct. They also got a separate monster hunter direct right after the current one. Yeah, and, and it's two games. Two games, games. Uh, Monster Hunter uh, Stories right. and a new two. main mainline Mon game. I honestly Monster think Hunter Stories two. The next one will be mm -hmm. Rex, so you know, I think that's inevitable. Who? You what, know the guy from the uh, Xenoblade Two or something? Oh, Rex. Yeah. Uh, oh Rex. yeah. I, I'm uh, pretty sure guy. he's certain because, like, for yeah? one thing, Sakurai had to like actually apologize why Rex wasn't in the base game. And <laughs> then, <laughs> no, like, yeah, the, for the, the DLC. list keeps on going on why this guy is likely. And, you know, Sculpt is probably sitting there with, like, one of those big cartoon hands with number one Rex player in Smash or something, just <laughs> waiting <laughs> for it to be announced. <laughs> like, uh, you oh, just I thought you were going to say he's, he's foaming at the mouth right Yeah, now. probably. Like, any fucking <laughs> day now, Sakurai is going to live stream from his uh, living room and go like, yeah, it's gonna be Rex. It's Rex yep. and, and his big titty anime girlfriend. Yeah, nobody's gonna Both be hyped them. except the high. No, what's his name? Sculpt, and he's gonna just jump through his roof or something. <laughs> jump through his. Well, yeah, and into well, at least one person will be happy then. Oh. Yep. So, what Monster Hunter uh, character would be coming to Smash? The I. Cat? No, I just hope. I don't know. N me neither, but not many people played uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, and What's that? that yeah, exactly. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marvel vs. Capcom used to be good until Infinite came out. Uh, but oof. what Infinite did right is adding a Monster Hunter character, and right. what so what they much. did do, what what they did is take like your main character, and. Uh, the main point of Monster Hunter is trying out all the weapons. You have a great sword, long sword, uh, gun lance, uh, bow, whatever. You have all kind of weapons. And instead of just focusing on the great sword, like they usually do in Monster Hunter as their promo image, they took the character and gave it pre pretty much all the uh, weapons the game has to offer. So that's that's yeah. I oh, know that, that just made it really fun to look at it to. I never played it with, so I cannot say to play with, but <laughs> 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 visually it was like, yeah, oh, they used the bow for that, and the great, uh, great sword uh, for that, and the long bow for that, and that kind of stuff. So I really hope they would also do that for a Smash character. Yeah, it does sound like something uh, that would work in Smash. Yeah, so it does, yeah. 
And the thing is, the uh, Bilet character is very similar to that because she also has three big weapons. <laughs> she Don't remind me. Oh. She has four. <laughs> so I'm a, a bit skeptical if they are going to uh, uh, root again. I don't know if pronounced right, but uh, or they just go for a, a violin, a, f a feline. I mean, sorry. Oh, they they this, should. That's one of the. Palico. We need our cat girls in Smash. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's a that's an actual cat. <laughs> Rattalos or nothing. Oh, we <laughs> need our girl cats in Smash. <laughs> yeah, or, or girl cats. Like one, one of one of the, <laughs> one of the three. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's if that's if they go Monster Hunter. That's other other other. It's going to be either the main character or they go for the feline cat. Probably the feline cat because that's I don't know. Because I, I, I don't even know. Gotta get that furry <laughs> appeal somehow. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so one of the games that was announced for Monster Hunter was just a mainline game. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and and the Monster Hunter stories, like the mainline yeah. game, is ugly as hell, and every mainline Monster Hunter game is ugly. So, yeah, yeah man, you can't be <laughs> rude about uh, wow, okay. Switch's uh, power. Yeah, but still, it's it's al always has been ugly, and it will never change. And Nintendo didn't like that, Wes. <laughs> it's just how it is. The only pretty Nintendo Monster Hunter game is... This. Uh, like first, first you're shitting on Mario 64, now you're shitting <laughs> on the Switch's capabilities. Like this Christmas you're gonna get a visit from the ghost of Iwata. No! <laughs> I'm a good boy. <laughs> Miyamoto's coming over to your house right now with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I hope not. Uh, but like, the uh, on the other hand, Monster Hunter Stories looks very pretty. And Can I have I? to say, I've never played Monster Hunter Stories, but it got me interested to play the first game. But I probably only will play it if the story continues in the second game. If it's a separate story, then I probably won't touch the first game. Ooh, what kind of gameplay is it anyway? It's, yeah. uh, it's uh, as far as I know, it's pretty similar to Pokemon. As in, oh. uh, yeah. you have uh, like turn-based uh, battles. Will, will the it difference have is all the monsters? That's very important uh, to me after this one <laughs> Does it have as many monsters as Pokemon? <laughs> it doesn't have as many. Know. And I, look, I don't think they will use not them all. Not adding in all the monsters. This is a fan they, service. Why are they haven't? Is that <laughs> they have not used? Not all, they haven't used all the monsters in any game. I think. I bet I'm not there's sure a tree about in that, there that's really low polygon. I just know. Oh, okay. then you don't understand. They have to cut some of the monsters to work on new animations. Oh, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Of course. Oh, of course. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Thank the you. problem with Monster Hunter Stories 2 was originally developed for the 3DS before going to Switch. Really? No. No. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know shit about stories. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you should add some insider info. I don't know. I was gonna say that. Then, then it's actually. <laughs> I'm looking up the it's Monster Hunter Stories uh, Wikipedia page right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was first released for... Uh, so this is Stories 2 f is the one that was announced. The first yeah, yeah, story yeah. was uh, on, 3DS. on 3DS. Yeah. And apparently that one has an anime. <laughs> really? Oh, I didn't it know that. It does. You haven't watched it? Oh, wow. man, Wes. It has I thought a, you yeah. were a true I fan. Like a 75 anime. episode anime. I, I watched it because weep. you guys said weep. I had to research for this... Uh, <laughs> Yes, but so far none of you have done your research except for so yeah, Stan and I the only one that did our research. But you did your research. research. I didn't research this. I binged the hell out of Tell the, uh, me about the anime, world guys. anime. Tell me about it. I, I, I loved how those lines were drawn. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about it, but then I realized I'm not a fucking weeb. So I'm not watch anime. <laughs> understandable. Understandable. We're not weeb. Look at that fucking here, visual. But... No, it's supposed to the picture to the uh, I don't know. It's I'm very good that you post pictures in a podcast. We, we will have, we it have it on this the background. Screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will we? But though? I, as far as I know, yes. I'm the only one excited for Monster Hunter Rises, and I'm interested in stories. But I don't know if I don't know if you guys are interested. I uh, played Monster Hunter on the uh, the, the the Steam one. I, I forgot. World, what the world? Yeah, world, world is good. That's the one. World is quite good. I, yes. I liked it, but it, it felt so vast and deep that I, I it was too much for me to it get into. It was too deep for Persona. That says something. Too oh, deep yeah. for Persona. Yeah, that <laughs> says something. Holy shit. That, that really does say something. Persona looked at it and said, "Calm down." 
<laughs> Calm down, guys. That's What's just part? too much, man. You just don't get the artistic vision persona. No, I, I, I appreciate it. It's just too much for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> too deep for I you. I played the demo of one Monster Hunter for the Wii U for 10 minutes, and then I didn't know Three what ultimates. to do. Three ultimates. I, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was ultimate. But I couldn't figure out what to do, so I decided it wasn't for me and not actually do any yeah, research it's... or look up how to do things. So it's just like, nope, you're nope. not gonna do this. Oh man, it can be really complicated if you go in blind, like, okay, I'm gonna play Monster Hunter now, but I don't know, they don't really tell what you have to do. That's yeah, because I kept hearing about it, people talking about it and stuff like that, so sure, I'll try out the demo, and they throw you into this demo, okay, there's a big fucking thing, go kill it. <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> Good luck, <have> fun. <laughs> What you just said sounded like that meme, uh, Wes, where I'm going to play Monster Hunter today, and then he walks to his PC. Okay, this is way too complex, bye. <laughs> I still played 19 hours of Monster Hunter World, so it's not like I... Uh, you, you at least gave it a try. For I gave it a hours. fair try. Yeah, 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 that's true. The game's expensive, so might as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And then I got into Final Fantasy, so I dropped it all together. Wow, okay. <laughs> Weep. <laughs> Weep. Wow. Uh, uh, talking about weebs, <laughs> they, they also announced Disgaea. Yeah, what's Disgaea? What's 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 Disgaea? T tell us what, about who's it. Disgaea? I don't know what Disgaea is. It, it just dawns on me. This is why I was asked to join. Wow. <laughs> yes, it, it, it actually is. Code, he cracked guys. the code. He cracked the code. He cracked the code. <laughs> Damn, here I thought they were just being nice. Yes. <laughs> we saw the partner direct and it's like, oh shit, uh, they announced damn, this guy again. Now we have we need to bring this man in. on the podcast. Ah, damn, okay. Imagine if we didn't. Right, so, uh... And you were... Yeah. This guy Imagine is... if I talked about it for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain it, but, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Can, can I talk now? Sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Shh. Wes, shh. <clears throat> okay, so this guy is a uh, tactical RPG. It's turn-based, yeah. and... Uh, you essentially control characters on a grid and uh, it's very over the top it prides itself on just being wacky silly and having so many super high numbers and options to customize your stuff like if you want to buy yourself a mage for your team that's fine if you want to give that mage like a huge battle axe that's fine like Sky's the limit. If you want your mage to specialize in like building a towers of other units in your team and then whacking your enemies with that tower, then that's fine. That's this Gaia. It's very over the top and it used to be very pixel based in uh, its art style and this is the first like 3D game and it seems oh, really? to introduce some new mechanic called super reincarnation but we have no clue what that will involve. Uh, but early games had reincarnation where like you bought a mage and then like no I don't like this mage so you then reincarnate it as like say a zombie or something uh, yeah. So okay. as, as a fan of the show do you appreciate sure. them making the switch from 2d pixelated to 3d? I'm gonna miss or the pixels to be quite honest mm. but at the same time they were really pushing the limits of what pixels could do because like with pixels you only have a set amount of frames right and for some animations mm -hmm. they yeah. have to use those same animations like there's some animations where they have to run but they only have a walk cycle so you end up with like a sped up walk cycle which looks really silly <laughs> because no. their walk <laughs> is like really relaxed and like yeah i'm doing this i'm so confident yeah. then it just sped up it, it looks kind of silly but that's sort of what happens when it's like something like a sandbox and you suddenly put the mage spell on like a ninja or something. It, it's bound to happen like that. So the so is there is there a set amount of named characters or do you create characters in every map? Every like new every game Odyssey? has a set amount of like story characters. Like uh, those yeah, okay. we got right. revealed is some zombie named Zed, his sister, and a dog named Cerberus and you can see on the box art there's some woman in a bride's gown uh, there's a robot girl some king guy and some guy was probably getting cucked you know so uh, it's, it's more all that shit it's more Final and Fantasy tactics yeah 
and less um, advanced wars. Yeah. For example, uh, where you constantly you can are creating. Play it either way, if that makes sense. Like, if you want to use the story character, that's fine. If you want to just bench the story characters forever and only use generic units, that's also fine. Fine, because this uh, guy yeah. just like says fuck you you do what you want we're not responsible but would you make those uh units per map then or no uh, you buy them no. in a hub yeah and okay, then yeah. you train them as you like yeah so it does have a set amount of characters per map yeah uh, you can and only a, launch a factory where you... i wonder if it's 12 characters per map it used to be 12 in this guy of five at least i think then you had certain ways to like increase that number but that's that's not important, yeah. So yeah. Um, has it been a while since they released a new game? Because as far as I know, they only release like uh, remakes or re-release. Uh, uh, call it. The company that made it uh, essentially almost went bankrupt twice. Wow. Uh, so like they made this guy a five in when was it? Twelve, I think. Twenty fifteen. Twenty six years ago. Six years ago, and. Yes. You know, they have this really weird strategy where they like, instead of focusing on the things that sell, they like make a lot of really small, low effort games in hope of finally hitting gold with it. Uh, last year you saw The Blind Prince and uh, Liar oh, yeah. Girl. Oh, that was from them? Yeah, that oh, yeah. was from them. Oh, and I didn't know. Like, that. they have a lot of these small things. Uh, sometimes it's a gem like the Liar Prince and stuff, but most of the time it's just shovelware. And it's finally caught up to them, and they really don't like Sony, because Sony isn't that <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow! Yeah, like Sony isn't that nice to small developers, uh, like them. So that's why this guy is six is a Nintendo Switch exclusive here in the West, because hmm. they really don't yeah, want. Then you launch only it. have Nintendo left. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I... it's only on Switch here in the West, but it's on the so Sony PlayStation Five in. Um, Japan, because they're entitled oh, really? to do it, but, you know, I don't think they really wanted to launch it there, because, you know, Sony just censors everything now. Everything. Hmm. Everything. Hmm. Nintendo has officially no become service. the no-censorship console. Yeah, <laughs> that's really odd, in, indeed. It didn't used to be like it that. It didn't used to <laughs> no. be like that, but now Nintendo is the liberals. <laughs> Nintendo's liberals who just want to see every single woman with a dump truck ass. Essentially. <laughs> they only censor their own games. Yes. So, yeah. I think we did talk about third party exclusives on the Switch last time, but now that they've actually been announced, um, is it just a nice bonus to have some, some third party exclusives, or do you guys think it's, it's actually necessary lifeblood for the Switch to have some. Uh, some representation of exclusives outside of Nintendo's own library. Uh, I think it's somewhere in the middle of those two options. It's definitely not a necessity for the Switch, because the Switch can get carried by its first-party IPs like Mario and Zelda. Right. But it's definitely nice to have a broader selection of third-party games yeah. and exclusives yep. to draw from. Gives more it's variety. Just, it's just nice to even have those games uh, portably. Like, uh, like, if you have the on the PS5 or PS4, play at home, but like... You can also just pull them out if you're on the bus, if you have them on the yeah. Switch. Like, uh, yeah, sure, but that that goes for all the games that come out on the Switch. But yeah, yeah, of course. The, the exclusivity, does it does it help <coughs> for the Switch? Uh, guess, like, I, exclusivity. I think it's more important for things like Xbox and PlayStation, because they don't really make their own games anymore. Right. In yeah. a lot of ways. So Nintendo, as Cuber says, has like, it has Zelda, it has Mario, it has Pokemon, and you know, the Switch right. will survive off that. But yes. yeah, like, let's say you had Xbox without a single exclusive. Why would you buy that piece of fridge? Yeah. 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 So Sony and Microsoft are more in buying studios or financing yeah, upfront exactly. to get exclusivity. Well, Microsoft I'm just bought Bethesda, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think there's they're not gonna be um, working on that. Like, um, they're not gonna have their fingers in the development jar. Yeah. We're just gonna say you do your thing. You're just owned by us. Buy Skyrim. Only owned by us. Buy Skyrim. I, I heard. Buy Skyrim. I, <laughs> I buy heard Skyrim that, too. Uh, I heard that the, because they bought uh, Bethesda, that uh, Fallout's um, 
New Vegas. The I uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that there's I'm a wrong. chance there will be a new Fallout New Vegas game or something because they had trouble make a new one because of financial stuff. I'm not sure about this, but I just read that somewhere on a server. But I don't know if you guys heard about that. I'm really not interested in Bethesda. Beth yeah, Bethesda uh, having uh, financial yeah. problems? No, so. I only know Cuber plays Fallout, but... I, what has uh, Todd Howard been doing? I, I, <laughs> I, I don't really remember what it, the thing was. I just know what they, that they said that because uh, Microsoft bought uh, Bethesda and there was also another studio involved with New Vegas. <laughs> I don't really yeah, know. Obs obs Obsidian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obsidian, Obsidian made New Vegas, but all the guys that work, all the people that worked on New Vegas, have already are already gone and have moved yeah. on to other projects. So if they yeah. make a continuation of New Vegas, I'm very scared that it'll fall in the hands of the people who are making the Fallout games right now, and that scares me. Yeah, and because be, yeah. Microsoft bought and now they are more closer together or something. Because I think Microsoft also owns Obsidian. I'm not sure. That's, that's I just I just want Bethesda's hands as far away from my beloved Fallout as possible. <laughs> I guess you had a falling out with Bethesda. Yes. <laughs> uh, yep, Obsidian oh is indeed <laughs> owned by Microsoft. Uh, I still love Todd Howard though. Buy Todd his Howard. game. Uh, yes, buy his game. Yeah, buy buy Skyrim, all his uh, games. Will, will this, this, will this mean that... Skyrim. Uh, will buy Skyrim. <laughs> will this mean that the PS5 will be the first one without Skyrim? Or? Uh, possibly. Maybe. You see that? But console? I want to just play Skyrim play. on my PlayStation Five. Isn't Skyrim already on PS4? And can't you play that? Yeah, but I want PS5 to play it on my PS5. I'm sure they'll do something with the licensing to yep. Maybe allow it to be able it. to play on PS5. Oh, yeah. Like, I think uh, it's more likely they won't bring their new Elder Scrolls to the PS5 than yeah. uh, probably not. Yeah. Would be whatever, really funny whatever the hell if they like the put new it in there, controls. but it's low resolution. As a like, fuck you, we're Microsoft now. <laughs> Here you go, but 720p only. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy your Skyrim. They, they <laughs> might release it on PS5, but it'll be at a later time for sure. Yeah, yeah no, time year, exclusive year or later. something. Yeah, yep. probably. This uh, does bring us neatly to our next topic, which is the PS5. Yeah, PS5. Who's uh, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it at the release? So, Sony also. Uh, and I'm definitely not getting it on release. No, <laughs> I'm, yeah. no, I'm, I'm actually in a pickle uh. on that because. Uh, oh really? I've been really hyped for a near replicant, which they announced for oh, the PS4, right. but then I've heard nothing, and now they announced the PS5, and I'm like, yeah. I, fuck. I think it will be. Uh, Is it still be released PS4? for both platforms? Will it be yeah, for both? both? Because I'm. I really want to play that game. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> this, well, probably but do you want to play it? Do, do I want to hmm? spend 7,000 kroner or something on a console which will play one game? Hmm. <laughs> Some people do. That's what people do all the time. Yeah, Yeah, but I'm not like regular people. <laughs> That's <laughs> very I'm true. He, he actually has a, f has a functioning frontal cortex. Yeah. The oh my god. Why are you here then? Again, I, <laughs> why are you I, in the server? Like, why are you here? <laughs> Just to suffer. I think, it, it, the guys who's listening to this, if you hear jingling, that means you can hear the chains around my arms. If you can't hear them, then Cuba remove them in the edit room. That's all. Yes. You, you, I'm if uh, cut this part out. <laughs> the gag him again. If the new this guy I game would be exclu exclusive for PS5, would you get it only for that? Uh, no, game? no, th this guy is not a system seller for me, and Nier is not the. I I don't think Nier is a system seller for me. Hmm. Not even Demon but did Soul they is a system seller for me. Did they announce who's working on the Nier replicant? Is it just going to be a remake, uh, or it's is a it complete Taro direct remake involved? with Yoko Taro? At the yeah, helm. he's involved. Yoko Taro. Yeah, like anything with Yoko Taro at the helm, I'm fucking up. That guy knows what he does. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, and did, did they did they say who's in charge of the uh, gameplay, the battle mechanics? I think they announced someone. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, I think either. they were decent at least. And like, uh, if you have not platinum, yeah, but also not caviar. No, I think they lent a lot of platinum's crew. Oh, I okay. think so. I don't know if Tara is in there. They 
Yeah. They did for uh, Neo Tomato, right? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Platinum. But platinum is, oh, platinum has so many projects already in the works. Yeah. It seems like... I, I, I can hardly imagine that they can take on another. I, I think Bay they another, only please. got some help on there. Yeah, that could like, be. It's not the Platinum making the game, but they definitely got Platinum crew in there to help them. Well, maybe if they're uh, yeah, if they can just work um, from the basis that is already there. From yeah. Our, our uh, and yeah. you know, as long as Yoko Taro is there, you know it's gonna be entertaining. Like, it might be a green fest. It the, might. The story will be there. The story will be there. It might be a comedy. It might be like someone dancing, and you have to play a written game on a dragon. But it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Like oh, on the yeah. end. Uh... You think I'm kidding, but that actually happened. Yeah, I know. That's the final <laughs> boss. Oh, That's the point. final secret boss, revealing oh the true Oh my ending. god. You have to ride and dragon while playing a freaking rhythm game. Yeah, I know. Wow. <laughs> the song is nice, though. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It's really catchy, but like the camera is the real final boss. <laughs> the camera's the real final boss. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the camera, like, hides it the thing you have to shield yourself from. It's horrible. Why does it seem like the camera's your mortal enemy, Stan? Uh, in all of these games? Well, thing is, I'm really picky about camera. <laughs> I guess. Well, I, and, man and, is and not I picky, don't man. think that... <laughs> man is Whenever we play cameras. Among Us, I just sit at the camera every day. Every single time. <laughs> and then I see a murder, and then I'm like, no, bad camera. <laughs> bad camera. This is why this uh, podcast isn't filmed and only recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, Stan would only go play. Here, Stan would just go fucking. Uh, no, you could see my <laughs> chains there. You could see his chains. Yeah, and the stop gear. talking about your chains. <laughs> You'll be released after this is done. No, I won't. <laughs> we can't make but, promises we can't keep. Uh, you might need me for another podcast, is what I heard you say. So, like, I'm probably going to be stuck here for like 10 weeks. No, we'll need you for other things, but not the podcast. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Get back to drawing monkey. No. <laughs> anyway. Um <laughs> Is is there a game you you guys are specifically interested in from, yes. from their uh Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I want uh, Demon Souls. Yeah. Even though I have the original one, I want it again. And then only touch the original one for like thirty minutes, but that's <laughs> more than enough to play the remake for me. It, it is it is a great game. Oh, I, I do think it's it was most in need of a uh, of an update. Yeah, way more than than Dark Souls ever. I think was. Demon Souls is the real system seller. Spider Man actually looked kind of lame to me. Sp Spider Man's also on PS4. It's a, it's also on PS4. I know it's a new game, but like Miles Morales, he doesn't do it for me. As a lead, no. he's really boring compared to Spider Man. I'm probably gonna uh, like. There we go again. Now I'm saying something that's gonna get me kicked out. But like, <laughs> Miles Morales doesn't do it as a Spider-Man. Really. Now Demon Souls. That shit looked hype. <laughs> it looked really good. Yeah, it looked really so like it. good. The only it's game Blue that yeah. used the graphing engine, and I, I yeah. thought it was kind of glowing. So I wasn't like super sold on it. But even I saw this shit's good. Yeah, this shit's gonna be good. It's gonna like, be good. Like blue points are like gods. I don't know the remakes they make, like Shadow of the Colossus and stuff. It's insane how they do it. Oh yeah, the uh, so graphically, well. yeah. yeah, yeah. The Shadow of the Colossus game was so nice. I didn't really it's play the new one. I should have. I did. I What's visually, the it's again? perfect. You still can. Hmm. So Sorry, Stan said can. he should have played it, but you you still can play yeah, it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick still it up can. eventually because Shadow of the Colossus is like. It's a flawless masterpiece. They upgrade the graphic, how could it be worse? Yeah, it really is, and it's better in every way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, hmm. looking forward to the Harry Potter game. The I... Harry Potter game looks great. The best I... And I hate that I'm looking forward to I, it. I know! <laughs> I last week, or this week, I mean. No, last week, I started uh, watching Harry Potter again. So I'm gonna oh, watch all the, all the movies. All the movies. And also the uh, Fantastic Beast movies, just to, I don't know. I oh, what are you doing I to yourself? <laughs> I can man. understand the Harry Potter movies, but, but the Fantastic no, Beast movies? Mean, why? I, I like the setting. Do you need help? No, like, I like the, the setting, the, and I felt like doing it. Uh, why not? I'm gonna be I still honest. have not seen the last Harry Potter movie of all the movies. 
the first one is okay. That. The second one is a travesty. But like yeah, but the first one is okay because it's, it's like world building. Uh, okay, that's uh, fine. Uh, <laughs> the the first Harry Potter movie or the first, first Fantastic, Fantastic Beast movie. Harry Potter okay. movies do not have world building. I think that's a rule uh, of rolling. <laughs> wow. Okay. The second Fantastic Beast will release this Friday on Netflix. So yeah, I'd rather oh, not watch see. that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't stop me. I watched the crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> that was enough. Wow. The uh, first Fantastic Beast movies was fine until like the last twenty to thirty minutes. That's where it all went to shit when they I, I agree introduced on that. Johnny Depp. I agree on it. Uh, honestly, I, I hated it from the first minute, but that's just me. Yeah, but you didn't. Have get you I, have a, I have a I have a soft it. spot for Harry Potter. Yeah, I li I really I, liked the uh, setting. The mainline uh, movies is something. My my sister wants to watch them every Christmas, so it's it feels shit. like oh, God, torture to me. Sword. I yeah, don't, you don't watch them every year. I've never yeah, actually well, watched them. I, I can't help it. <laughs> it's, just it's close just, your eyes, bro. Wait, <laughs> you can also just not be there uh, when the movie's playing. My, my girlfriend. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say to my, my parents, hey, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. What I do every holiday. <laughs> yeah. Ow. My, my sister takes hostage of the family every Christmas <laughs> and makes us watch the entire uh, Harry Potter series. I, like uh, every yeah. movie, I sometimes every watch single movie. Well, with my well we usually don't get that far. Uh, <laughs> just imagine your entire family being held at gunpoint. We're gonna watch Prisoner of Azkaban <laughs> now, and you're all gonna like it. You're all gonna cry yeah. when Sirius dies. Hey, that's the well, best. Yes. Pretty much it, yeah. You gotta see a shit. Uh, have you? Have you seen uh, that Harry Potter edit where the guy replaced every single wand with guns? Yeah, I've seen that. Yes. I wish I'd <laughs> seen that. But have you read the Christian version where, like, they remove every reference of magic? <laughs> no, yes, there, there is a, a yes. I know there's a version like they that. They wrote the first book, making it Christian friendly, where the school is about praying. And you know, I haven't actually read it, but I have sources who read it, who said the best <laughs> scene was when Harry Potter and Hermione. Uh, learns magic, and then there's a door that's locked. I don't think it's locked by a key. And then they're like, okay, how do we open it? Oh yeah, let's pray! And then they <laughs> pray! <laughs> and then God opens the door. Thank you, God. Th Thanks, that, God. Is, that is truly beautiful. Yeah, like, now replace, who makes yeah. this shit? <laughs> <laughs> it now sounded straight with out of rolling. Rowling. Anyway, back on the game, I think the best news we heard about the games was that J.K. Rowling did not have that much input on it. Yeah, that's what I wanted yes, to say. When I heard that, I became like 20, 20 to 30 percent more excited yeah, for the so. game. Okay. Oh, thank God, she's Rowling not involved. Rowling not being involved. Please. I don't want to see wizard shits. Yeah, I, yes. <laughs> I just want to have the setting and a nice open world RPG game. That's what it's. If this game be. does not have a spell to remove poop from my underwear, it's not <laughs> canonical. It's not canonical. Not canonical at all. <laughs> well, this game was set like a hundred years before the actual Harry Potter books, isn't it? Oh really? Yeah, yeah it's set in like the 1890s or something. How are oh, they gonna? Oh, that could be nice. How are oh, they I gonna guess. sell us on this? Like Harry Potter. They already did. For the Lore. <laughs> like Stan. Yep. Yeah. Lore. Yeah, but listen, like. Uh, People watch these movies to see like Harry Potter, Hermione, Dumbledore. These people aren't born yet. How are they gonna sell people on these? I know, I, uh, well, you don't know if Dumbledore's not gonna be there. He's like old as shit. He's one hundred. I also think this most. caters to the people who. I also think this caters to the people who like the series in general and want to see more of the world yeah, that same. it takes place in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes the sense. The entire rationale behind sense. Fantastic Beasts. And everyone knows that the fantasy act is the best time right now period want to think of a time that's not infected with covid <laughs> so let's go 120 years back right 2018 Eight, good year 2018 1800s were a great Ex time to be a witch yeah. exactly but they also announced the uh the prices they did what I really dislike is that the Europe games are more expensive than the American games. Like, <laughs> what I saw it is, that it is kind of silly. The Demon is Souls is tax. 80 uh, euros, while the Demon Souls in America is 70 dollars, and dollars yeah. is already less worth than a euro. Yeah, exactly. So it used to be the same. Oh, it's so or at least was, It used to be yeah. 60 60, which was um, already sketchy. Yeah. Which, which was already sketchy because we are paying more. 
it's the euro is worth more than uh, the dollar. The thing is, I get it. <laughs> get the fuck, get <laughs> fucked they, America. Yeah, but not in America, no, they just they opted. But I, I get why there's a price increase, because the current model yeah, for game development isn't really sustainable, because we put so many dev no, teams it's... and so many resources into this, like, 10-hour game or something. And yeah. it's, do, it's uh, really not sustainable. And I'm not saying I like it. I'm just saying... It's really understandable they're trying to up the price here, and I sort of hope for a backlash, if that makes sense. Like, people but, are sort of yeah, like, this is too expensive. I can't actually but I do, afford this. Right. I do agree that that's, yeah, games can go higher because everything will be more expensive to make, but why is the Europe one more expensive than the American <laughs> one? That's what <laughs> that, there is me. There is no reason. For that. That's, that's what it's... works me so much, and I don't know why. That's also what that's also what's keep me off buying a PS5. Like why why would I pay ten euros more? It's just already like just, how many just dollars get the is one that? From America, though. Yeah, but this is the tax the import we get costs for not being American. Stuff. Yeah, can't. it's oh I really I really dislike it. I can't help but feel uh, that Nintendo is gonna win on doing nothing again because like okay Sony ups their prices and then suddenly nobody buys more games because now it's too expensive. So instead they buy the cheap games from Nintendo <laughs> and you know suddenly Nintendo sales go up simply because they're the regular price I can't help but feel like you know that image where like Luigi wins Mario Party by doing <laughs> absolutely nothing by doing nothing, nothing. <laughs> I, I feel like Nintendo, Nintendo by keeps doing, nothing. doing that they just stand still are doing nothing and everyone just walks off killing themselves yeah, you can Microsoft can't fuck up your new games if you don't bring out any new yeah, games like <laughs> Microsoft so Nintendo Microsoft and Sony fade. are having fist fight. Nintendo's just sitting there with a bunch of popcorn and all their Nintendo games. Yeah, like how can you fail when you are Luigi like that? <laughs> Luigi, yeah. the ultimate OP yeah. console warrior. Oh, I, I do I do agree that prices going up is, is not necessarily yeah. a weird thing at least. Um I do hope that that money um gets to to the actual developers which i doubt yeah unfortunately yeah. i think it's just the industry going to be uh, a little fatter you please for yeah. once think of the poor multi-billion companies <laughs> yeah exactly please they need think of the todd money. howard like todd howard needs the money yeah I, at one time there was a really cold winter and they didn't have enough hundred dollar bills to put in the fireplace <laughs> <laughs> it was tragic they felt a small shiver they had to start burning unsold Skyrim. Yeah, there was, it was, it was <laughs> there wasn't that many. <laughs> to save on heat, they had to fire more employees and then burn their clothes. <laughs> fire, <laughs> <employees>. fire employees. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, peak comedy. Yeah, that's uh, that that should be enough on that. <laughs> yes. So did you guys uh, hear? I heard. I, I did. I did hear about it. Yeah. What did we? What did we hear about? What? L Lotan Our Surf of Child is back. Lotan, Lotan came, came back. back. Yeah. What my fuck? God. Oh my gosh. Enough the blessing of the week. Son. What the Would a fuck is Lotan? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. That, that's what, is good Lotan? what is Lotan? What no, is what is a Lotan? What? I think in this scenario, what is definitely more appropriate than who? <laughs> I don't like think a who can talking fall about it as <laughs> if it's a person. I'm got. I'm probably not gonna to say who. He's probably not going to listen at all, so we cannot talk anything about everything. W was the it. coin named after Lotan? Was Lotan named after the coin? Why do I, I have this know. coin? What can this coin be used for? Nothing. Nothing. Though. It's useless. Oh, it's like a decorative coin. You just yeah, lose a little bit of why I don't have one moon. This guy has I'm going to call it decoration. I'm going to throw it into the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like one wish, please. They're going to throw it back I at me. I don't think you get anything for that. You only get anime titties for that. No, oh, okay. That's all he will deliver for No, an anime thighs. This, this I throw the coin... More weep. <laughs> I throw yeah. the coin into the fountain and all of a sudden just a pair of breasts come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> That's the breast thing that... But <laughs> also really accurate. <laughs> just a pair of disembodied that... breasts rise out of the water. Reminds me of that song, Everybody Needs a Bosom for a Pillow. <laughs> Jay's back. Sure He's back. Made of bosoms. He's back. He's back. Back again. And nobody, ex nobody expected it. 
Like, out of nowhere. I, I really didn't expect oh, me neither. to ever come back, but I'm glad he did, honestly. I think Lotan. also I invited him. Lotan saved 2020. Thank you, Lotan. He did. Lotan, if you the listen... the only good thing that's happened in 2020 so far. Yeah. What about this guy? I mean, 2020 six? isn't over yet. <laughs> <laughs> I said so far. So that's far. True. That's true, that's true. Maybe Lotan yes. 2 will back, come back as well. Lotan 2. Lotan 2? Yeah, Lotan Electric two. Boogaloo. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. You guys are really <laughs> hyping this guy up. Like, is this Jesus returning or something? Or <laughs> what the hell is going on? Is the king of basically. the Jews I mean, he is Jew. He, he is Jewish, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah he, basically. And he lives in yeah. Israel. Whoever so. this guy is, he's gonna proclaim himself king of the Jews after hearing this. Fuck, I set that up. <laughs> You did. God damn it! But do you Lothan's really think gonna he's demand. gonna listen to this, knowing him? <laughs> nah, this is no. way too long. So Lothan, if hint. you Someone hear this, let us know. I mean, he's a zoomer, he has the attention span of a vine. That's true. Yeah. Or a TikTok, or whatever they <laughs> use, listen to these days. Lothan, <laughs> you said vine and I actually thought about the plant. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the heck's a vine? Lothan, if you're to show how old I am. Yeah, you're like two generations What's behind. What's a vine? <laughs> <laughs> like the drink? Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly that. But you really don't know what a vine is? Uh, like, it's either a plant or it's yank like the drink. Are you yanking your chain? I... <laughs> the six second videos. TikTok? Back when old, it was TikTok Before coming. that. The age before TikTok. YouTube? The one. The thing people post all those compilations about. YouTube. On YouTube. Yes, it's sure. YouTube. But then, yeah. six seconds long. The basis of all of our comedy for the you last know, first years. I don't know who Pot Pikirim is, and now I don't know what <laughs> this wine is. I, I'm feeling we're pretty left out here. Uh, well, it's nobody's fault but your own. Yes. I'm inclined to disagree. It's not our fault you've been living under a rock. Well, I live, like, in, in a mountain land, like. He, he lives on a I rock. I live on a rock. He is. That is Norway. Rock. I do like your work emotes, Dan. It's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, that rock. This podcast made by a diverse group of people of various beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> and values. I don't know about various beliefs, but okay. I think most of them Look, are just have... terrified of holes in the dikes, but that's just me. <laughs> There's a hole in the dike? Yet. There's a hole oh in the god goddamn dike. Oh my god, no! We gotta run. unplug my thumb in. Look what you did, Giver, Mark. that's where all the water sound's coming. Look what you did, Mark. God damn it. I didn't do anything. I'm oh. here sitting in People my People in the survey, make sure to call Mark out for this. He can't keep getting away with it. I will and I can. So, uh, do you guys want to answer some fan questions? Or yeah. do you want to talk about what you've been playing first? Uh, I'm you can talk about what I you're playing, I get a choice. Guess. <laughs> yeah, you're getting a choice. So we're we're going to do both, but you're getting me. a choice on what we'll do first. Uh... -huh. What have people been playing, I guess? Super Mario! What have you been playing, Stan? Stan, what did you play? Uh, I've been playing Super Mario and Among Us, and I keep on trying to go back to Bloodborne, but every single time, the fucking orphan of course kicks my ass, I waste around 30 blood vials, and then I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore, and then I just, like, I stop playing. Yeah, Wes knows all about the orphan of course, right? Uh, who? Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at ROMs for like four years now, maybe five. ROM, right? ROM. The spider? The spider room. Yeah. That's ROM is one of my favorite bosses. That's the boss I did first try. Yeah, but... You just I run mean... at him and attack. Like, he doesn't yeah. even fight back, you just, you just run just straight get... at him, attack. Where, where's, just where's where's you him just get good. Yeah, just get it's him It's not all. even a get good, like, he's literally a stationary <laughs> enemy. You run straight for him, you attack. He teleports. You run straight for him. You attack. He teleports. Yeah, but and then you run straight for him and kill him because he doesn't teleport. Yeah. Anymore after yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try again soon. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be better at again. video games, Wes. Um, be better yeah. at video games. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, what have you been playing, Wes? Me. Um, I have been playing. Oh, Paper I, Mario. No, no, no. This, yeah, I've, I've played Paper Mario, but last week I've been playing uh, Mario Party, Super Mario Party. Oh, God, on yes. Switch. I, I know this. And oh, right, we've been told about this. I've played with, uh, um, 
How do you call it? You don't even remember. Dynasty my, my, Warriors. My, <laughs> my, my, my girlfriend. And <laughs> she was like, let's play my party. And I was like, yes, I like Wait, she initiated she it? Initi she initiated yeah. it. No, 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 no. Wait, I said, oh man, I wish we could play my party now. And she said, I actually have that game. And I was like, what? And she was like, oh, yeah, no. I have it. And then we she didn't know. She didn't know. She, she didn't, didn't know. know. And I was like, sure, I want to play that. I I do like the Mario Party. Uh, and you were like, oh, we're having so much fun playing Mario yeah, Party. And, and she was like, guys, get me out of well, here. I was yeah, like, why didn't, didn't anyone tell me that Mario Party <laughs> when, was so awful? When I think like what if I girlfriend, I, I don't think Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> Just you, your girlfriend, and Mario. Yeah, How is I, that not Mario a party? Mario is not a really good wingman oh. for your dates. <laughs> All like, I want to maybe like a little Luigi. bit of backstabbing Luigi, to get her into but the like, mood. It, there's something about <laughs> Mario saying "wahoo" that doesn't quite chime with me as romantic. <laughs> Luigi going around saying "Mario," maybe, but not Mario saying "wahoo." That that is not romantic to me. I'll all I want to say is that the last game we played in Mario Party that I had uh, ten stars and she had two. <laughs> and, and, she, and she was you the second place. You just had to flex. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> it's not enough that he beat her. He has to flex about it as well. To On everyone listening to this podcast. <laughs> if, you, if you hear this, I'm not sorry. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go check Wes's uh, Facebook and I'm going to see his relationship status. It's probably it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. It's just Wes and Mario now. Yeah. My but, God. Uh, uh, but, but we had a lot of fun. <laughs> well, you had a Did lot you? of fun. You had a lot of fun. That was a very yeah, I mean... awkward Wii. <laughs> it's the royal Wii. But yeah, that's, that's what I've been playing the Wii the had last a lot of weeks, fun, yeah, sure. recently. Mm, yes, we had a lot of fun. But uh, what have you been playing, Qbert? Uh I've been playing the Mario 3D All-Stars. Oh, Mario Galaxy and RuneScape. Runescape. Who plays Runescape? What a surprise! I shut up, Stan. I play Runescape. <laughs> 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 hey, we're gonna get copy. We're gonna get a copyright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a copyright. <laughs> oh, this Jack is still free use. I don't think anyone but me and Cuba recognize the tune that way. <laughs> that's that's the intro tune. He knows. He knows. I, I mean, I've, I pl I've played C so much thing? Runescape, but I have nah, nah, played nah, him on nah, enough nah, Runescape nah, to know. I have not played that much RuneScape. That the soundtrack has become but pretty iconic for some reason, especially Sea Shanty. I'm not sure why yeah, Sea Shanty. Sea Shanty 2 was insane. Like, the best one is the Terrible too. Cavern and Temple Desecrated, but nobody memes about those songs. Nobody. Nobody. Are, are, are we going to talk about RuneScape again? Yes! RuneScape. Enough, enough RuneScape! I tried, Cuba. Run this entire escape. time, the RuneScape logo has been on our little screen in the back. <laughs> that will okay. be 500 moons, by the way, for agreeing to try to talk about RuneScape, Cuba. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no. Much, no. Much, have you been playing Flight Simulator again? No, I've been playing... Uh, I've actually been playing uh, the Paper Mario's uh, Origami Kick. Nice. It's a good I game. I got that yesterday. It is a good game, but it's creeping it's me the fuck out. What's creepy about it? Okay, so first off, you get to the fucking... Peach's castle, yeah, and it's yeah. just completely empty. <laughs> this is the first two <laughs> minutes of the trailer game. as well. Also, for some reason, Mario and Luigi's only car is the fucking cart from uh, Mario Kart. Spoilers. Yeah, except they both have to share one car. It's 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 funny. Why would they I drive like two Luigi cars? The There's a lot of room in the. <sighs> Whatever. Again, this I is this is were... Wes experiencing things very different different from other people. Wes says it's funny, just like when playing Mario Party. Well, March says it's fucking scary, just like his girlfriend said when playing Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, uh, after that scene in the trailer, you know where uh, Origami Peach goes, do you want to become creased like me and join me in folded ecstasy or whatever? Like, <laughs> what? after that, you get dropped into a dungeon. Bowser's really, this all sounds really sexually loaded. Just gonna say, <laughs> Bowser's uh like, so they're all aware that every they're in the paper world, and Bowser's like folded up and hanging from the ceiling. I think you're while reading he's too much into this. Uh, <laughs> while he's, he's like worse and keeps getting worse, <laughs> he's like forced to watch like his minions get turned into origami in front of his eyes, and I, you I can only see Sigmund this in the wet. Freud. 
I bet Sigmund Freud would have a lot to say about this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the late ah? paperness uh, represents the penile uh, yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then like when you get to Toad Town immediately after, like the town's fucking empty and there's giant Goombas eating the houses, and scattered across the town there are like these notes written by the Toads who have abandoned the town, talking about how happy they are. About the upcoming origami festival, and it's just like, oh god, the Goombas are here. Like some, it's like an apocalypse happened. Isn't that which the is very point? jarring? Yeah, I, it is. But I was so caught off guard by it. It's like, oh god. The game actually made me emotional at some point, but I'm not gonna spoil that part. I, I know which scene it is. Uh, I, but I know but because Red I Bobby, commented uh, on it. <laughs> But yeah, I get one let's not spoil that Bobby. for everyone. It's probably the high point. Look at this loser having emotions. <laughs> one half for Bobby. Look at me. Do I have to mention uh, that really, really emotional RuneScape quest again, Cuber? Or uh, are we gonna leave that alone? I mean, questing in RuneScape for me is just spacebar simulator. So <laughs> I, I have no idea. I can't <laughs> believe Cuber didn't cry uh, over the cook's assistant. The cook's assistant was a very touching uh, story. It's an emotional true. roller coaster. Like when you get Unless that milk from the when cow. I got, when I got that egg, oh, yes. Egg scene. When I got that egg, I felt that. I felt that. Oh. <laughs> the egg I was really a metaphor it. all along. <laughs> a yeah. metaphor for everything that happened. Yeah, and, and, but, uh, and like you uh, need an egg, and milk, and like flour to make the cake, and it all just comes together and it creates the... this amazing thing. It's, it's the cake of life. <laughs> it's all this coming is... back to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Peach always offers Mario a cake in those fucking letters. This bait came so much deep. The dots were connecting them. Uh, RuneScape <laughs> connecting and them. Mario. RuneScape. RuneScape, RuneScape has always a been a Mario game. To Mario. <laughs> RuneScape is secretly a Nintendo game. I think RuneScape is the sequel, but okay. There's a lot of hints. What if a RuneScape character is the next Smash fighter? I would say would you go. <laughs> Who would it even be? Bob the Cat? Yes. Or just yes. Bob. Or Bob the Axe Salesman. There's a lot of Bobs. Cuber. <laughs> There's a Bobs. Well, that Cuber. entire town that's made out of Ali. No, they got copyrighted. Like, no, 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 not copyrighted. Censored. Yeah, oh. for some reason... Okay, so I'm gonna have to explain this. I'm sorry for going really skip, but like, There's a quest where like you're asked to go visit someone named Ali. And you're like, oh yeah, that's gonna be really easy. So you go visit the town, and then everyone in the town is named Ali. And, you know, which Ali am I going to ask for? Because there's like 50 Ali's. And that's a really funny joke. But someone found that really racist. So they had to, like, change every single name. And now the quest makes no sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they, they could have just made it everyone is named John. No, because they're Middle Eastern. So that's racist too. Oh. You never saw a Middle Eastern person named John? Apparently they don't exist. Okay. But like Ali <laughs> is the John shame. of the Middle East. It's just nobody took that joke for some reason. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, I don't think only Persona didn't say what he played. Last um. Few so days. I played some Planescape Torment. Planescape. What? What's that? Yeah, uh, it's it's a really, well, really, that's a pretty old. Uh, RPG game? Oh my god. Never heard of it. It's not a years JRPG, old. but a, a Western RPG. Disgusting. Uh, because I had been playing some Disco Elysium, which came out last year. Ooh. Which was a really fun RPG game in the same kind of style, an isometric uh, Western RPG. Um, but I. I don't know. I, I, I haven't continued playing it yet. I'm not finished. Because even though it's a lot of fun and it's far more free than than most uh, JRPGs for example mm -hmm. um, the, the problem is a bit that it can also lack in direction and then it's not as free as uh, a game of Dungeons and Dragons where you can just say well fuck this quest I'm gonna do something else because you're still confined to a relatively small space but the space is then too large to actually have a very linear progression. So it can be it can be pretty hard to understand what you have to do next because it's not a 
it's not a checklist it's a it's a list of options you can pursue which is really fun to play but also can get kind of hard is, is it a long game i think it is i've actually Please. never heard of it before so i i really don't know what is it like it uh, is it 3d or is it on ps4 or is it yeah, it's, it's isometric that's a magic. Oh, every time and, you and say I played on Steam. I mm. keep thinking of the Simpson joke. Isometric exercise. <laughs> isometric. The isometric exercise. Good for the calls. I do not, I do not know this joke. I don't know anything about the Simpsons. It's before my time. Same. Keep going. I'm gonna contain myself. That but yeah, um, so that's what I've been playing a bit of landscape. Nice, 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 nice. Good story. At Good least story yeah. for now. It 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 informs the people about it. We really cannot we cannot really <laughs> ask questions about it because I don't don't, <laughs> don't no think any of us know about, about the game. About it. <laughs> nope. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. it. Uh. Does it have planes? Uh, no. Why is it no. named Planescape? Because uh, that's a D&D uh, reference. Oh. But you said it wasn't like D&D. <laughs> well, it's it, true, it is based on D&D. <laughs> so it's based it's... on D&D, but it's not like D&D. Yeah. Yes. Then why is it a D&D reference? Why not? Because that's where its basis is. <laughs> you know, you I'm just getting... You can possibly turn D&D into a video yeah, game. Yeah, this is just getting more and more confusing. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's get on to the questions. <gasps> questions. I didn't know. We have I was questions. Have to we have questions yes. from our viewers. We have questions. We, we, we Stan, have you're questions. gonna have to no. answer for your crimes. I and have no crimes. The, the first question is for All of your crimes. Marge. Oh my God. The chew so, Marge. Marge, what is your favorite butter? My favorite butter. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the man was not prepared. <laughs> really putting There's him on the spot. Of butter? I mean, with a name like margarine, how can you not have a favorite kind of butter? Because it's margarine. It's no, it... not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Wait, maybe it is butter. I don't have a favorite type of butter because there's only margarine in my house. It's, is uh, that a type of butter? Regular butter. The soft ones that you can make <laughs> baked goods with. The, s the soft butter. Okay. The soft butter. <laughs> nice. The softer the butter. Uh, I'm the better gonna it is. post a picture here, oh. and I think it's gonna help much. Oh my god! I can't You're believe welcome. it's not butter. Why not butter? What not butter? Hmm. Butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> Canadian <laughs> butter is better than your butter. Ooh, uh, that's a hot take. Uh, There's a hot know. take. Okay, I'm. I I, never had everyone Canadian. were like, I want to stoke when I said something about oh. Super Mario 64. But when Mark said something about Canadian butter, okay. Who else here is Canadian and can attest to Canadian well, butter? Well, obviously I'm Canadian. Oh, uh, to be oh, fair, yeah. we're not a butter server. <laughs> we are not a butter server, by the way. We're not a butter <laughs> server. <laughs> that's too bad. Yes. So, uh, Cuber, that's me. Next question is for you. Why won't you get the fuck out? Because I gotta, ha I gotta have my moons. I just gotta get them, and I gotta piss Jeffs! off them while I get them. <laughs> yeah, give some inside most story. Most people for won't the people. get this. Most people I think, won't get yeah, this we joke. gotta, we need to explain should, this one a little bit it? because ninety-nine percent yeah. of the server can't see your stand take okay, it. Okay, so there once was this promised land, and we called it Baking Bad with the sin Bad. sinful six and Mimi. Plus Mimi. And you know, Mimi. we gotta have Mimi. And you know, it was Rip a Mimi. great land. It was a silent land with only kind inhabitants. And together, <laughs> the people persevered against that awful, awful everything Nintendo mansion set up by evil, mean people who probably smell <laughs> eggs. And as a reward, <laughs> they made that room permanent because that way they could always stay together. But exactly. these evil, evil people kept coming in and i won't mention names but one of them rhymes with puber and he keeps coming in every single day to do his dot timely to get 10 moves and every single day we yell at him to get 
the fuck out. <laughs> now, if you give me a second, I'm gonna have to type and tell him to get the fuck out. <laughs> Cubes, <laughs> get out! <laughs> Angry squid noises. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> this is a daily occurrence for me. <laughs> And then Everything. I have to post a dancing dog emoji. Why? <laughs> Why do you trample on our peace? Our holy land has been besmirched by this cubed one. I won't stand for this. Well, you already touched a bit on the uh, axe smelling, so Wes, <laughs> why do you like chicken so much? <laughs> well, it's all about the flavor. When you, <laughs> when you have a nice seasoning over the chicken, you put it in the oven for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. You have a little uh, seasoning over it with... More seasoning? More, Even more <laughs> seasoning. Just keep putting seasoning on it. Keep, keep <laughs> adding that seasoning. Wait, wait. I need to ask, what type of seasoning are you putting on your chicken? Um, you use white with salt and pepper. That's that's all you need. No, we oh, have just a, salt and pepper? We, at home, we use a special recipe. It's a secret one, so I cannot tell, talk about it, but... I can oh, give some secret. some ing ingredients about it. Like we use um, uh, tomato ketchup. Yeah. Also, ketchup. Bob. It already ketchup. sounds awful. It already sounds awful. <laughs> Bob already <laughs> sounds fucking listen, awful. Listen, who chicken. the fuck? Really? Who the fuck prepares a chicken with ketchup? <laughs> it just gets worse. I'm sort of imagining a grilled chicken, and then just Wes coming in with the ketchup bottle, and then like he paints something <laughs> yeah. on top of the grilled chicken. <laughs> I think this <laughs> constitutes as a hate crime. My God, <laughs> Wes is just marinating the chicken. This did chicken. not deserve this. <laughs> we just he, he always this chicken. <laughs> he always makes the chicken the hat. We don't. Yeah. Uh, we don't. We don't only add tomato ketchup. We also add barbecue sauce. Oh my God! <laughs> Isn't there okay. already ketchup in the barbecue sauce? <laughs> yeah, there, is. More there, <laughs> there is. Wait. Oh my God. Okay, you hear me typing now, but I'm gonna look up the recipe. <laughs> oh, you're gonna bring oh, us your you're, secret you're, recipe? Okay. Yeah, My secret it. recipe, I found a line. <laughs> oh, it's a secret household recipe that I'm just gonna look up on Google real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret Google recipe, obviously. Uh, also, um, uh, brown sugar, okay. uh, honey, okay, that, okay, that sure. kind of makes sense. And, and ketchup mayonnaise. Ah, uh, never mind. More ketchup? And that's, uh, that's, 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 soy that's, soy that's soy all I'm gonna say we sauce. add. We add more ingredients, but that's a secret. It just sounds there like sticky chicken. Oh, uh, that's not sticky chicken. That's not sticky chicken. You know how... <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's definitely <laughs> sticky chicken. We f I figured it out. I cracked the code. <laughs> sticky sticky chicken. chicken. It's a secret cube or it's not sticky chicken. <laughs> it's not sticky chicken. <laughs> Have you all seen that one video where like an American family are gonna show how they prepare like... Uh, <laughs> British tea, and then they like microwave oh, yeah, that, that water. one. Oh yeah, they God. microwave the I fucking feel water. I like Wes is on that level. Uh, and, yeah. and the amount of no. sugar that yeah, is Yeah, there added. was so much yeah. sugar in that. And then they microwave yeah. the water for some reason, because that's how you heat water in America. Yeah, they don't have kettles in America. <laughs> but yeah, yeah this, they, uh, aren't, uh, they, they aren't under the queen. No. The Why would an American ever need to boil water? I mean, they eat a lot of pasta. I guess they just microwave it. I don't know. We should, oh, oh, they have def you def ever seen craft dinner? We should, uh, uh, we should ask Shen this. Have you ever seen craft dinner? They have instructions on the side of the box to microwave your craft dinner. I don't know what that oh, is. Craft dinner is like the boxed macaroni and cheese. Oh no! Why would you need to microwave box macaroni and cheese? You know is what? that uh, the one you put in the microwave? <laughs> I think it's better the less I know. You've never seen Kraft Dinner? I, yeah, I have. I'm actually genuinely surprised. I'm it's food for students. I'm a Norwegian. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm essentially secluded from the rest of the world. That's true. What do they eat in so, Norway then? <clears throat> what we eat? Uh, good food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like pills like made what? of fish oil. <laughs> Mostly. Oh. How can it be good food? The other guests are still hurling from your meal earlier. My meat. Excuse. Yeah, you're the you, one who you, cooked the food. I, I'll have you know that, that was an American at the beginning of this was... podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was an American recipe. <laughs> I knew there was too much ketchup. There, there's no ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, okay, people are hurling from my food, but I'll have you know, that was an American recipe. <laughs> 
Why are you making American food? Yeah, that was a shepherd's uh, pie. That's British, right? No, that's British. is that British? Yeah. Okay, th th their food is the horrible as well, so, you know. <laughs> well, you're not wrong about that. Yeah, I think we can all agree that British food sucks. Yeah. Hey, that, that's kind of mean. And Irish stew is goddamn amazing. I yeah, but the Irish and British. They are. I'm not getting into politics. That's the Irish here, you say that. <laughs> but they're they're in Britain. They can't deny that. They're not part of the UK. Well, the the Northern Irish are. But they're still Britain. To every Irish person listening to this podcast, I apologize. <laughs> to the one feel, of feel you. free to come on the podcast and defend your country. <laughs> Do we even have an Irish Anyways. person in the server? Uh, Momo, who is now Scottish. Oh, are they? He is originally Irish. Oh, really? Oh, damn. I thought he was American. I mean, I'm Irish. <laughs> what? Obviously. You thought Momo, Momo was American? I thought. Yeah. I think you're no, thinking no. of Manny. Manny's American. Yes. Yeah. He's a. Uh, I don't know. He... Momo hasn't been around a lot. Lately. Rip Momo. When will Manny come onto this podcast and cook for us? Manny actually wanted to come to the podcast, so maybe he will. He did. And you chose maybe when me. He's, uh, he's less scum. Well, he's he's busy with work. So, you see, every yeah. guest who comes on this podcast has to cook for the other guests. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, nobody I wants I my I expect a meal pie. after this, then. No, everyone was hurling from it. Everyone was hurling from it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the next question is for me. For you. For you. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, how do I comb my hair to make it that curly? How do you do that? Um, I, I think well, you got actually the wrong the, uh, quest. I think you're thinking about Osa. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was addressed oh, to me, but never mind. The, yeah, well, the the thing is, I, I don't comb my hair, because if I do, then the curls go out. It's all natural, baby. He just so wakes I, uh, up with perfect hair. No, I, I shower, then towel dry my hair, and then go to bed, so... That's the secret. That's, that's the secret that's how to do it. Yeah. The curls Amazing. are my bed hair. God, just imagine going to bed and waking up looking that good. <laughs> <laughs> Olay, because you're worth it. So Stan, this next question is for what? you. It was your own question. Can answer <laughs> it now. What? Okay, yeah. Okay, what? What, what is? <laughs> what is the best hat in Among Us, and why is it the double top? Uh, I'm glad you asked me. <laughs> okay, so you know there are some people out there who would go and discredit people and call their hats stupid. And you know, obviously, I won't mention any names, but it does. Their name does rhyme with Luber. Uh, <laughs> but the best hat Luber in Among Us is obviously not just the top hat, but the double top hat, because you don't get just the simple elegance of one top hat. You get two. For the price of one. And, so and in that's case you amazing. run into two miladies, <laughs> you can tip them both. You can tip, you them, tip both them both at the same no, time. No, no, you tip, My God. tip one with the right hand and then one with the left hand. That way you can tip in two different directions at once. <laughs> front and back. Like imagine like can... two miladies coming at you straight from the front and you're ready to tip your fedora. But then you realize they're splitting to walk around you on each side and you're wondering which one do I tip? <laughs> Where do I go now? Well, the pr I never have that problem because I wear two top hats. So I just you tip them in each direction. can make people uncomfortable from any perspective. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad whoever submitted that answer, you are really <laughs> good. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I think we're going to leave the... Uh, couple of the other questions for for next time um thank you for everyone who sent in their questions please do please send more. do send in more yeah i like i like questions give me questions we, 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 we send really more like questions, questions to we, uh, i won't make a new form everyone else so you can just make uh ask the questions in the in the channel or in the comments yeah. below i guess so yeah. yeah you can you can just uh send in your questions in the top uh, in the in the in the in the channel in the Fitting channel, in the, the podcast channel. channel. And preferably the leave channel. them in the comments of this video as well, because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, 
Uh, like, comment, bell, subscribe, all that shit. We're professional hit, hit that podcasters. Oh, fucking bell. I should probably mention, I do not have access to this uh, feedback. So whatever mean things you write about me, I will probably never hear, hear of. So it's <laughs> so, essentially only so, for Wes, Marg, and Persona. So go all to out. Go all so out. Go all out. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. I'd prefer I you say that. Please time, write please. as many negative things about Stan as humanly Don't possible. worry, they I will come. Forward. I look forward to reading them all. Stan's <laughs> time on this podcast has come to an yeah. end. They have to go back. Can, into can, can you remove the chains now? No. Yeah, we <laughs> no, yeah. We will have to search for the key. Fuck. Um so in the in the meantime, uh, we'll say good goodbye, good night, or good morning, or a good good afternoon. Depends on uh, at what time you're uh, listening to this podcast. Good night, New York City. If you listen, so long and thanks specifically for all the fish. you. If you good su- morning, Saigon. Survived the whole podcast. Congratulations. Good morning, USA. Uh, bye bye.